So the next thing to do is render this sequence out into the final animation. So back out of full screen. And if you're not using Turbo Tools, you do of course need to make sure that you mute the render layers node, otherwise you'll end up re-rendering the 3D scene. And before I render it, I'm just gonna also modify the entire combined image a little bit, just do a little bit of, just to make it a little bit brighter and more contrasty. I'm gonna shift A, we'll search for RGB curve node. We've done the black levels and white levels, so we don't need to worry about those. We're just gonna do the gamma and the contrast. So drop two in, one for gamma, one for contrast. And to make this a bit quicker, I'll temporarily mute these three expensive nodes so we get immediate feedback. Or with Turbo Tools, you can just cache them. And then I'm gonna increase the gamma just to make the entire image a little bit brighter. And because that's gonna sort of get rid of some of the contrast, we can then bring that contrast back by lowering this down a bit and then bringing the brights up as well. Quite subtle, but it should make a nice difference. And then finally, we need to change the output format. So let's change this to FFmpeg video so we get a single file. And we change the container to be MPEG4 rather than Matroska so that I can use it in DaVinci Resolve. The quality, I'm going to leave as high quality. Make sure the audio is turned on so you get all the audio in there. And we'll just change the output folder. So final render 20, 2023. And then I'll change the file name to what the? And I'm going to put .mp4 on the end so that it doesn't append the frame number uh, on the end of the file name. And with that done, we'll press Control F12. Or if you're using Turbo Tools, you don't need to render again. What you can actually do, if you go to the Turbo panel in the Compositor, you can come down to the Publishing section, and then you can just choose to publish the animation again, and it's going to output the animation to whatever you've got set over here. And you can do this as many times as you want. And also, if you've got Flickr in your animation, you can click this button and it will remove the Flickr from the animation as well. So that means you'll be able to render with much lower samples and still get a Flickr free animation. But without Turbo Tools, Control F12 and it will start rendering the final image for us. That's a bit too fast, so I'll just press Escape. I've obviously forgot to turn these nodes back on. So select these, unmute them. And then we'll do Control F12, and now we'll start rendering it. It'll be a little bit slower, but it should still be a lot faster than if we were rendering the entire 3D scene. So I'll let that complete, and then we'll come back and see what it's like. What the f oh, bees. And there we go, we've completed the course. I hope you've enjoyed it, and it's been what useful for your future projects. And if you want to support the channel and also get much faster and better quality renders and remove Flickr from animations, then you can check out Turbo Tools, the add-on that I develop, which you can find at Blender Market or 3d-illusions.co.uk, where you can also find a membership area to download and play with loads of cool stuff. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time.